Hi, welcome back. My name is Rika. In today's session, we're going to look at HANA modeling using Business Application Studio. The previous session, we have seen how to set up HANA Cloud trial instance on SAP Cloud Platform. It's a free license, and we have seen all the steps required to set up that for us in the Cloud Platform. In continuation to that, we're going to create some design time artifacts using Business Application Studio. I'm going to build them and also deploy them to Cloud Foundry platform. I'm going to use the same cloud trial instance we have set up in the previous session. We've got two options to use the development tools. Either you can use Web IDE full stack or you can use Business Application Studio. And the trial instance, uh, SAP removed uh, Web IDE full stack. So the only option we have is to use uh, Business Application Studio. So I'm going to use that for this session. I also written a blog on this topic. You can find in the community forum. Uh, this is about HANA Cloud Modeling in Business Application Studio. There are some steps uh, explained um, on how to create um, the design time artifacts for a database module and deploy that. Uh, we're going to look at those steps in the system now. I'm switching to my cloud uh, trial instance cockpit, you can see that there is an instance already set up uh, uh, from the previous session. So I'm going to go into the, to check the status of the instance, it's up and running. I'm going to close this one, I don't need this one. I'm going to go uh, and launch the Business Application Studio uh, service. I can do it from the subscriptions, and the subscriptions I can look for Business Application Studio and find it, and it's click on go to application it is going to take me to the business application studio here. Um, this is very similar to Microsoft Visual Studio Code Editor and you will see most of the features are very similar to the on-premise version of Visual Studio Code Editor uh, uh, here. Now you have options to uh, choose the, um, the theme. You can choose the white one or the, the black color as we have right now. It's up to you how comfortable you are in having those colors and themes. I chose the black one. And let's go to the Explorer and see um, uh, our existing uh, project. So I'm going to create a new uh, project from a template. So I better choose um, a start from a template so that I get a certain series of steps uh, which Visual is going to uh, provide and then I can uh, submit the inputs to that. The system is going to generate all the necessary object in the background. This is going to be easy for me. So I'll choose to do it from a template. So start from a template. So we're going to get to see the available templates. We got um, MTA application, multi-target application, MTA. I also have database project. Since my requirement is to have just the database object, I'm going to stick to the database project template and say uh, start, I'm going to give the project name. You can just give the, um, the HANA modeling and then I'm going to just say next. I'm going to stick to the same uh, module name. Um, I'm just going to say next. I don't want to give the namespace and schema name here and the database version, I'm going to um, uh, base it to HANA Cloud. That's my database uh, got a set up on the trial instance. And the next option is bind the database module to Cloud Foundry service instance. So I'm going to uh, uh, choose the, D, the DB module I selected, what I'm going to build, is going to, bi is going to bind to a um, Cloud Foundry service. The, the HDI module will be uh, bound to a uh, HDI instance. I was about to say yes and say no. Uh, create a new HDI service. Either you can bind the service uh, the module to existing HDI service or you can create a new one. So I'm going to um, uh, create a new one for this DP module. So I'd say yes. And it's going to get the Unix service instance for uh, for that uh, particular uh, service, HDI service is getting it. I'm just leaving to this name what SAP template is providing. And then uh, here's the default database instance of the select. Yes, so it's go, of course it's going to um, go to the database, default database instance. I'm saying finish now. Now this is going to generate a DB module. Um, this is going to create an HDI container. Um, and also it is going to generate a service, um, HDI service uh, in Cloud Foundry. 
now the project has been generated and I would like just to the add to the workspace. I'm going to get to the my workspace here. So you can see this in the workspace now. So I can see my project here. Uh, so, so don't worry about the previous project. I'm just going to stick to this project. So I got a DB module and I got a source a folder and I got the empty YAML file. So it's going to be um, having some pre-configured parameters because we choose in DB module and it's going to create a, um, a service a resource for us. This is going to be a HDI service on Cloud Foundry and we're going to choose the target container as the service for this DB module. It's all done. Uh, the wizard has set up everything for us. We didn't really need to modify anything in this YAML file at this time. And we're going to start creating some design time artifacts inside the source folder as we do in the other um, uh, previous development tools like Web IDE. So I'm going to say source. I can create a new folder and say the DB um, um, tables or and inside the tables folder I'm going to create a um, uh, file. It's going to be a table. So I'm going to choose new file and then say uh, customer.hdb table. It's just the same way as we do it in the web IDE full stack. Um, we need to be having a syntax. I have the syntax already here. You can just grab that uh, SQL DDL syntax and just going to paste this in here. And and that's it. It's um, it's auto saved. I'm going to start um, can start building this. And you can see this as part of the HDI container. Let's do that. So what I'm going to do uh, to build that object, I can go to the to the project. It's just going to be uh, in here. And then I can see I can little bit expand to this one so I can see this properly. Okay, as you can see this little symbol, this is for the deploy. So I'm going to choose the um, the DB module uh, to get this deploy. It's running and it is going to get um, uh, get deployed to this container. Yeah, once the deployment is being completed to the container, so I'm going to check that in the DB Explorer. Um, this is going to be the, the one which is uh, used for um, our database runtime objects view. I can do that from the um, the from the DB modules. You can find that open HDI container, or you can also do it from uh, from the cloud instance itself. You can go to uh, execute SQL and explore object. This is going to take you to the DB Explorer. Now I'm going to choose that. Now since I'm working on HDA container, I'm going to choose uh, the display of, of the DB container, DB Explorer from this place. I'm going to choose the same um, account. It's starting the DB Explorer. It's automatically taken to the, um, the administration. You can see that I'm going to close uh, some of these things. Uh, this is the one which we just created. It automatically got added to the DB Explorer. So I'm going to just go to the tables and see uh, my table is in here. Uh, in this HDI container. Yes, I can see the customer table inside my HDI container um, HANA modeling one. So I can actually uh, display the data. I don't think I have any data. So I just got to add a couple of records to this one. Choose this container, uh, create SQL, and I'm going to say um, now insert a couple of records in that. It's done. I will be able to get the data in the table. So in the next step, I'm going to do a create a simple calculation view using Business Application Studio, and then uh, use this uh, customer table as a source data and display the data of the uh, calculation view uh, using Database Explorer. So go back to the Business Application Studio, and I'm going to start creating another uh, folder for 
uh, calculation views you can say CVs and in that folder we can have the object uh, calculation view created so you can also use another uh, um, templates for the for creating the database objects so oh, you, for that you can go to the, the command palette so you can just say uh, find command and you can this is going to be your command but I got a lot of commands which you can issue and get the required action done so our, our, our task is to create a database object so for that we're going to say database um, artifact and then uh, what kind of database artifact we're going to you know, create uh, for the for this particular uh, in, in this particular scenario so you have the option to choose the extensions for the tables views calculation views and etc I'm going to say um, save that I'm going to create a CV inside that let's say the same way as I did for the customer table I'm going to select the folder and say new file and this file is going to be customer CV underscore customer HDB calculation view and say OK. Now uh, it's opened as the, I think I gave a wrong extension to the file, so it's just not going to open that. So what I need to do, I need to change this file uh, to have the proper um, extension. So HDB calculation. That's going to be the right um, name. So as well as give the right name, it is going to open um, a visual, which is very similar to a graphical modeling in Web IDE full stack. So it's took the CV name, and it's going to give the label, and I'm going to choose the it's a dimension. So this is going to be standard, and then say create. The, the look and feel of this whole screen is very similar to what we used to have in Web IDE. So you can have the table in the projection. So I'm going to say say add, and then look for the table customer. Since it is going to be inside that container, so you're going to need um, you don't really need any synonyms for this one. I just select that and say finish. I got that. I can double click and see the uh, columns in here and transfer all the columns to output. And I said uh, semantics and then say just save. It's automatically saved. So you just you can double check by saving it. It's all done now. So you can see that new object coming in um, into the source folder here and then you can say um, deploy. So as you do the deploy of CV folder and then you're going to get that calculation view created inside that container. It's done. This is pretty fast compared to um, to the Web IDE build or deployment. So I'm going to go to the database explorer and, and refresh uh, the cal column views here. And you can see the CV customer is available there. So I'm going to drag this to um, SQL window. I can see the that is um, uh, say select star from this particular CV customer. I can see the difference. It's not going to be under Sys because part of the, the containers is going to hold um, inside the container. I'm going to run this one, and I get the uh, data from the underlying table. So this is how you create models um, in um, Hana Cloud using Business Application Studio. Got all the steps documented in this blog as well. You can uh, do the, the, you can read the blog and also you can go back to this video and then um, and then do the steps according. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, in the next topic, uh, we'll come up with some more uh, object development using um, um, Business Application Studio for HANA Cloud. Thank you. If you follow the detailed training on the HANA Cloud or HANA as a service uh, premise, uh, please reach out to me at sarumpaliyas at gmail.com. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.